text value modification. Welcome to lesson on how to modify text content with a set of lists provided in eSurvey lists. Interchange text. When working with drawing, it is often required that you have to interchange the text, that is, to copy the content of one text to another and vice versa. Normally, to interchange the text in CAD, one has to move the text positions or copy and paste the content of one text to another and vice versa. But by using the ITX command, interchanging the text content between the two texts is just a one-step process. Copy reference text to all selected texts. If you have to change content of multiple text entities within the drawing with the same caption, CPT command can be used. For example, in a drawing, you may have ground levels in one layer and if you want to copy all of them to represent a constant formation level, use CPT command. Create new text using content of selected text. Many a times content of one text is created as two different texts. For example, 12th main Oxford layout would have been created in the drawing as different three texts. 12th main, Oxford and layout. Making it as a single text has its own advantage in further editing. To merge such scattered text, use ADT command. Divide the text into subtexts. Sometimes to accommodate text in a given drawing space, it may be required to divide the text into two different texts. In such cases, the DVT command can be used, which divides the text into subtexts. Note that DVT command divides the text wherever it finds the space in between words of selected text. Insert sequential numbers. Marking sequential numbers in CAD is common while giving parcel numbers in layout drawings. Creating parcel numbers in a sequential order in CAD is time-taking assignment. To solve this requirement, SQN command can be used. Just by clicking the point, next number text will be created. Update text values with incremented numbers. Using the INR command, it is possible to update the available text in a sequence. INR and SQN commands are different. SQN command is used when you are inserting the sequential numbers for the first time, whereas you have to use INR command to update the broken link of sequential numbers back to continuous. Add specific value to all selected texts. This option is used to add or subtract a numeric value to all the selected texts. Let us say a drawing is generated with a benchmark of 91.468. After creating the entire drawing, if you come to know that the actual benchmark was 96.468 and not 91.468, then all the elevations in the drawing have to be added with value 5. In such cases, using ADV command, you can add or subtract a specific value from selected text. Concatenate Prefix or suffix to available text Requirements like appending Common text like meter for all the text representing measurement can be done using APT command. Round off elevations to 0.005 precision. This option is used to round off elevations to 0.005 precision of all the selected text. Many survey instruments can read the value with precision up to 0.005. When editing the drawing or interpolating, the elevations may not be rounded off to 0.005. In such cases, selected elevations in the drawing can be rounded to nearest 0.005 using RND command. Trim text. If there are extra unwanted spaces on either side of the text content, it can be trimmed using TMT function. For example, if there is a text space, Albert Street space, space after selecting that text using tmt command it would become albert street thank you in the next section you will learn some list programs related to lines